what do you have um, to share, like, with people that still might be out there and, and struggling? Like, this story, your story is very powerful. And, you know, the, the rehabilitation and the redemption that you found in your life and being able to yeah. work through, like, the struggles and the trauma and the things, like, that's powerful. And there's a good chance it'll encourage other people. So my last question is, what, what do you suggest for other people that might be caught in this cycle of addiction or homelessness or, you know, stru stuck in the street. What I say to people is the only thing that, like, I've conclude, come to conclude is that self-love. No matter where you are in life, no matter what you're doing, self-love. Like, learn to love yourself and be kind to yourself. And it's your shrine. Your body is your shrine. And just take care of it. You don't have to be angry. You don't have to feel guilty. We all sin. We all make mistakes. But forgive yourself. You know, I think a lot of addiction comes from uh, trauma, um, just a disease. You just have it in your genes. It's genetic, you know. But it can come from depression it becomes self-medicating it can be a lot of things but i think if you just learn to like learn to live in your skin without having a substance you don't need it you don't need it you think you need it but you don't you really just need self-love 